On Monday, September 16th, Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, the Crown Prince of Bahrain, met with President Trump in the Oval Office and told the press that his country wants to strengthen its relationship with the United States based on shared values where they overlap. The president in turn described the Crown Prince as a friend of mine and said the country of Bahrain is a friend of ours. The very next day, a court in Bahrain rejected a request to allow Nabil Rajab, one of the best known and most highly respected of Bahrain's human rights defenders, to serve out the balance of a five-year prison sentence at home. Now, Nabil should not be in prison at all. His supposed crimes are nothing more than acts of free speech, a universally recognized human right, by the way. He is in prison for five years, according to the Bahraini government, for spreading false rumors in time of war, insulting public authorities and insulting a foreign country. That's a fake kind of legalese for speaking out against the use of torture in Bahrain's infamous job prison and criticizing Bahrain's role in the Saudi-led war against Yemen. Now, many members of the United States Congress, myself included, have spoken out against Saudi Arabia's role in Yemen. Would the Bahraini government like to throw us in prison too? The reality is that Nabil is in prison for political reasons, because he dissents from the policies and repressive practices of the Bahraini government. Under international law, everyone has a right to express dissent. And when a government cannot tolerate peaceful dissent, it signals its own insecurity and weakness. And a weak government cannot be a strong ally for the United States. So I have a message for the Crown Prince and the government of Bahrain. If your values include repressing peaceful dissent, we in the United States do not share your values. Nabil Rajab is a prisoner of conscience. He should never have been arrested or charged or convicted or imprisoned. And once again, I call for Nabil's immediate and unconditional release. His continued imprisonment is a stain on Bahrain and we will not stop speaking out until he is free.